vloggers hunted attack on freedom of speech are unfortunate coincidence so it is stated in recent time the violent deaths of vloggers have left some members of the online community feeling like they are in an hunting game two weeks ago popular 32 year old vlogger nigel big mish walford was shot and killed by unknown assailants in red pants in catherine the campion college alumni created a moderate the popular instagram page august stone 876 where he regularly expressed views on news and current affairs especially on crime and policing in jamaica also it is stating that the police have no lease into walford's death Head of the St. Catherine North Police Division SSP Howard Chambers said there is no evidence that Walford was targeted because of his online crime related blogs. We are still investigating SSP Chambers told Observer Online. Despite the concern within the vlogging community, members of the traditional media fraternity believe that the death of bloggers cannot be construed as an attack on freedom of speech or the free to press. A lot of these bloggers are involved in extracurricular activities that might put them in arm's way. There is no evidence that the deaths of these vloggers have anything to do with their reportage on certain events or their opinion. One high ranking executive, executive member of the Press Associate of Jamaica or Association of Jamaica said the extracurricular theory may have some credence. In August 2022, police revealed that a homemade firearm with two magazine holster and a military paraphernalia were seized at the home of popular Jamaica Labour Party JLP blogger 37 year old Philip Taylor after he was found dead in a car. Also it is stated that in September 2022 Clarendon Blaze blogger Leon Legate McNeil was gone down at a party only a few hours after reporting on a double murder via Legate TV and entertainment. A social media platform used to provide live updates on crime. Matt Neal was at a party about 8.55 p.m. when he was approached by men who shot him multiple times. The 36-year-old declared his intention to attend the party via live stream video earlier that day as he reported on the double homicide in the parish. Also, it is stated, police sources say Matt Neal might have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. According to lawmen, an ongoing feud between men from the area is believed to be what caused the attack at the party where Matt Neal and another man were shot. Also, uh, Big Mish Walford of the August Town 876 was shot and killed on March 3, 2023. Born and raised in August Town, he had been living outside the community in recent years. After being dragged before the court on a cybercrime related issue, he was detained in April 2020 by detectives assigned to the Counter Terrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTAC. After several subsequent court appearances, the case was eventually dropped in December of last year. In March 2021, YouTuber Nicola Campbell of Nicola Campbell's journey was shot dead outside her home in St. Andrew. Also, according to the police, the 36-year-old was returning home from the Kingston Public Hospital, KPH, where she worked as a registered clerk, a registration clerk, when a gunman approached and opened fire, hitting her several times. She was pronounced dead at the scene, the police said. The mother of three regularly shared videos of herself and her children on her YouTube channel, Nicola Campbell's Journey. Also, it is stating that, however, the strings of death involving vloggers may just be an unfortunate coincidence. Correlation does not prove casualty, the PAJ exec mused. It's if a reporter is killed and there is no definitive threat to that reporter's life based on the work that they have done, then we cannot just draw a conclusion. Correlation doesn't prove casualty, once again said. Others aren't convinced that bloggers are not being hunted because of their edgy opinion and investigative work to highlight criminal activities. Popular YouTuber Sir P has revealed that he has been threatened many times by an underground figure and Sir P also revealed that the popular blogger Big Mish had reached out to him about threats only days before he was cut down in Spanish town. Big Mish and Sir P are members of a new group of intense eager bloggers who have been lighting up YouTube by dishing interesting insider information about the ma machinations of gang leaders and leaking sensitive information about the murders. Still, the traditional media believes that it is time to have a conversation with the wave of new journalists uh, about their un 
orthodox method. The traditional media doesn't publish the pictures of children. The vloggers need to read the Child Care Protection Act. There is a duty of care when it comes to dealing with children in danger. Further, bloggers need to get away from posting unverified information and that belief that if, if something no go so, it near for go so, and that's why more of them are getting sued, the media executive told Observer Online. One such case of a member of the new media being sued is that of gender activist Latoya Nugent of the two tambourine army the supreme court awarded 16 million to former moravian minister dr kenneth thompson in his defamation lawsuit filed against her in january 2019 nugent the founder of the advocacy group towering armory armor our army is alleged to have posted comments on facebook def defaming thompson sometime after the arrest of another moravian minister rupert clark for sex crimes ag against a minor the court had entered a default judgment against Nugent after she failed to respond to the claim filed by Thomas. The court has also ordered that she pay legal costs. Recently, YouTuber Andre Steven and Shelly and Coran has been threatened with defamation suit because of their public utterances. Steven, Stevens has been threatened with a suit if he does not apologize and remove alleged defamation posts concerning invest banker Ryan Strachan and the fraud it brokerage firm stocks and securities limited also entertainment personality and internet talk show host Kuran is facing a multi-million dollar lawsuit from businessman mark cross Kerry, from former ceo ceo of stocks and securities limited ssl over a series of posts made on her youtube talk show and her social media profile linking him to fraudulent activities and the scandal rocked company the businessman has hired attorney attorney at law money morrison as he seeks damage for defamation negligence aggravated damages and legal costs new media has to understand that not because two people post it mean that it is true the media executive said so people people all heap of things all heap of story all heap of information that come to bump in other one of people you see me so basically what the people they must say oh the vloggers them are dead one side i say oh the vloggers are being hunted likewise you know the police them are gonna deal with it by the book so them i say them can just a jump to conclusion and say oh yeah everything is correlated because them say three vloggers are dead one behind the other you see me them have to do them investigation first and, and make a conclusion or come to a conclusion to determine whether or not it is because of their line of work being a vlogger being a new type of journalist or because of that make the people them kill them or baby everybody have them different scenarios why they are dead you see me so basically people we have the fans them out here likewise the people them who are watch the vlogs them over and over yeah man them attack and i say all right now them not feel like say this is no coincidence you see me them feel like say the vloggers are being targeted because the vloggers them are pinpointing out some of the top dance them the top criminals them in a jamaica which are leading to some of them being killed by the security forces likewise some of them being harassed and getting a lot of time behind bars you see me so the criminal elements them right now me here say them are work against the vloggers them and being a member of the vlogging society yeah man we have to forward out and put them on the forefront put them on the ib make the police officers and the top tier investigators them do them investigative job to get rid of them vlogger it man because them vlogger it man are all upon the lead people and me i tell you when them all upon them leads see that them kill three vloggers already you see me oh them get them them and the information oh them get to them them and the you see me unless there is someone around these people who is leaking out information about them someone around these vloggers are trying to set up their lives you see me that's why sometimes them say you have to check your circle have some of the smallest circle at all costs you see me because you never know who might just be against your line of duty your line of work calling you just an informer or something like that just because you're out here put out the information to get rid of the criminal elements them once and for all so people people as we can see in these in incidents and these events the vloggers are being killed in a some humongous way method about some way where yo you know some art wrench in where you can for no say you them out there put out the work i try to build back a safer jamaica a more safer space who so use them who we kids them away of yeah man people and the same youth them away i try to help the same people them away i try to protect i try to get rid of we same way people we need the strength we need all the law abiding citizens them right now for
share up the video and make the one that go viral so we bring the awareness to the vloggers they make them know so guess what keep on the eyes open you know keep our eyes open because we are being targeted by these criminal elements who are going to go to jail are going to get get rid of by the criminal elements who them are with are the police force because we not stop till these criminal elements are out you see me so we need the people and fear share up the videos them all across the social media platform make the one that can go viral yeah man some more people can get the update them so them can better protect themselves remember to smash up that like button so youtube get this video within its algorithm in tune yeah man so youtube will push out the video when time when you like up the video people to more law abiding citizens so they can get the information which they need me know so them need them information to protect themselves from these criminal elements likewise remember to get more information over here at dance all brains tv the place to be for the latest and the factual exclusives only remember to smash that red subscribe button down below and press the bell then you press the all yeah man people so you guys receive all the notification as me drop a video when you first get it that's when you can get update to stay safe in our jamaican society so once more host brains over here telling you guys to stay safe stay blessed make sure you don't take care of yourself make sure you don't stay out of these criminal elements we make sure you don't get on yourself involved or entangled within any criminal activities because you don't know you plant the seed you go reap the plant you see me or you go reap the fruit remember me tell you if you plant bad fruit or you go get bad fruit for your, for your tree you see me if you plant good fruit you go gain growth you are going to sow good food. So people simply said, just be good and you will get good. I'm out.